Hi, welcome students. This lecture here is a short lecture, a quick outline on the history of dentistry. So way back, what are the first signs of dentistry? Back in Egypt, the year 3000 BC, so before Christ, there were signs that as they as they would dig up, you know, old bodies and, and research and everything, they found that um, from the skulls that they found these teeth that were in these people's mouths way back then. And these are human teeth. They're not artificial teeth. They, they cut the roots off. The tooth had to be extracted. They cut the roots off and they fabricated the, either these gold strips or these gold wires and to reattach these teeth into the mouth. These are some of the ancient dental tools, if you can even imagine. In the year 2000 BC, the Chinese used arsenic to treat tooth decay. So tooth decay certainly was an issue. They were trying to address it. Their means were just not there. They also used a silver amalgam mix to restore teeth, which was about a thousand years before the West. The year 500 BC, Hippocrates, which is the father of medicine, stressed the need to care for your teeth. And Aristotle, which is the great philosopher, stated men had 32 teeth and women had 30. Um, 166, 166 to 2001 AD, the Romans believed that it was socially acceptable um, to pick their teeth with gold toothpicks during meals and they would hand these toothpicks, here's just a sample of one, that they would give their guests and be grand meals and kings and queens and, and, uh, um, and they, they would pick their teeth at the dinner table. They also made toothpaste from eggshells and honey. The Renaissance time, now in the 1700s, this is the time of Shakespeare. Um, Pierre Franchard is the father of modern dentistry. Uh, he, de he developed, his main thing is that he developed dentistry as an independent profession. Before this, it was under the physicians, or sometimes even barbers later on um, were the dentists of town. Um, uh, but they believed that tooth decay was caused by toothworms. And they also believed that you should rinse your mouth every morning with their own fresh urine. So they're just trying to kill tooth decay. Um, um, 1766 in America, now we're over here in America, um, Dr. Baker. He was uh, George Washington's dentist. And George Washington had many sets of artificial teeth. And they're made out of ivory and human teeth. Um, there's a myth out there that George Washington had wooden teeth, and that's just a myth. Now, Paul Revere, we all know Paul Revere. He was a silversmith by trade, but he did study dentistry under Dr. Baker. So when Dr. Baker died, Paul Revere took over his practice, which is interesting because no formal dental school, but he was an apprentice at the office. And Paul Revere was credited with beginning the science of the study of forensic um, dentistry to identify the, the dead. Um, Dr. Black. Um, Dr. Black was called the grand old man of dentistry, and he developed Dr. Black's classifications of caries, which we still use today. So you will have a course um, that in there uh, in Chairside that will have charting, and in there you'll you'll learn about Dr. Black and what's a one surface decay and two surfaces and three surfaces, and he's the one that identified that. And then finally, in 1866, Lucy Beeman Hubbs Taylor became the first female to graduate from a recognized dental school. Um, in 1885, Dr. Kills, he, he was the first dentist to hire a dental assistant. So that's when dental assisting first became. And so this is the 1800s. You can notice their long uniforms in different styles. But that was the beginning. Thank you very much.